Hey guys, Bill here with Catch 22. Today I'm on the Cass River. I left the pedal drive at home. Let's put in the uh, center pod here. I just launched from Heritage Park in Frankenmuth, Michigan. For those of you who do not know, Frankenmuth is a little uh, tourist spot in Michigan. It's a Bavarian town. It's quite a bit of traffic, especially around this time of year. But I wanted to hit the river. One, there should be some nice uh, fish in my future, I hope. And two, I get to see all the fall colors. So that was kind of important to me today. So I'm just paddling along, looking at all the fall colors. The leaves are coming off the tree. And whenever the wind picks up, it feels like it's snowing with all the leaves that are falling down around me. It's pretty windy, although me being down at this level and being protected by the banks, which is pretty nice. Hopefully the wind isn't coming across on the microphone. It's always a pain. I keep telling myself that I'm going to fix that problem by getting a muff, but I haven't done so yet. But I gotta tell you, right now the colors are great here in Michigan. A lot of ambers and golds in the trees. I'm looking for that fire red. I haven't come across yet. Might be a little late. Still plenty of river to traverse. I gotta tell you, ever since getting the pedal kayak, I've, I've missed paddling. I'm enjoying this. I really am. The weather's perfect. It's probably in the high 60s right now, almost 70. The high today will reach 75. The water is just a hair under 60 degrees. It should make fishing really fun. Not here with my buddy Bruce, who's way ahead of me because he's not stopping to fish, he's just paddling the river. What a gorgeous day. Gorgeous day to be out on the water. I gotta say, guys, that life's pretty good right now. The family's doing well, I'm doing well. The weather's great. That beautiful scenery. Up ahead of me, there's so many leaves on the water. It looks like it's just a, a vegetation mat, but it's just leaves off the trees. So people come to Frankenmuth. Like I said, it's a Bavarian town. There's a couple restaurants here that cater to uh, family style dining. So it's, for those of you who don't know, it's all you can eat brought to your table. And it's fried chicken, you know, German meats, tons of different sides. I mean, you really gorge yourself. They're supposed to be famous for the chicken, but I gotta tell you, the chicken's my least favorite thing here. And then you've got, you know, German cheese houses and the fudge, and you take horse and carriage rides through town. For those of you in Michigan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And for everyone else, it's just like, it's difficult to add just about any other touristy spot. You have Bronner's here, which is a year-round Christmas store. They've got Christmas trees and every single ornament you can think of, and other Christmas decorations. That it's open year-round, you can come all year long, and it's just it's Christmas there. Very similar to Santa's workshop, I gotta say.
Finally on, guys. This guy's fighting. Nice Molly. Nice little smallmouth, guys. GoPro, take a picture. Nice little guy. Time to let him go. And here he goes. That Smalley came on an Ed rig. Except I'm not using a TRD on it. I'm actually using the Z-Man 2. Got that on a medium spinning rod here. Berkeley Lightning Rod. The Abby Garcia Cardinal. You guys like to know that stuff. Guys, this is such a beautiful day. Just floating down the river. I got that guy fairly shallow. Just casting shallow, and then there's a decent drop off, and that fish was right at the drop off. He's the only guy I've caught so far. Go back and re grip that area. Hopefully, we've got some buddies that stuck around. Fingers crossed. Also, guys, I gotta say that the PDL paddles very nicely. It's been really windy today, so uh, I just dropped the rudder and it helps me track. But maintaining boat position is quite the chore without my pedals. Quite the chore. It's been so long since I paddled. Probably gonna get blisters on my thumbs. But that's okay. I said fishing wasn't a full contact sport. And that was my first ever Cass River smallmouth. Pretty neat, guys. I have to say that smallmouth are my favorite bass. They fight so much harder than largemouths. Hooked up again. Same spot. Same spot. Just letting him wear himself out a little bit. Oh yeah. Now that I'm looking at My sonar. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I wish I had my, my net prepared. This guy's so much bigger. I think he might be a large even. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Whoa! Nope, 
It's a smallie, but it's a decent, decent smallie, guys. Oh. 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 Ah. Ah. Oh. Guys, I, I'm looking at this fish. I already know it's my PB, it's my smallmouth personal best. Oh, this guy wasn't going anywhere. He choked that. He's bleeding. Oh, bud. Settle down. Look at that, guys. Oh, what a beaut. What a beaut. A monster. Look at this guy, guys. 18 and a half inches, three and a half pounds. He was a beast. Thank you. Thank you. goes. Wow. I know it's not a five or six pound pig that Michigan can be known for when it comes to smallmouth, but for me, that was awesome. 18, 18 and a half inch smallmouth, three and a half pounds. I'll take it. I will take it gladly. Again guys, using the net rig with the Z-Man tube. Uh, the Z-Man tube's interesting. Only half of it is hollow. The front half of it is solid. So it's a lot easier to get on that uh, net head. Oh guys. That was so fun. I love smallmouth guys. Oh, pound for pound, they outfight just about any freshwater fish I can think of. What do you guys like catching bass wise? I'd like to run a little pole. Maybe I'll put up one of those cards. Whether you prefer largies or smallmouth. Believe me, I'll take either. But small mouth. Oh. Three and a half pounds. To be exact, there's three five eight. Three five eight. Eighteen and a half inches. For not being on Lake St. Clair or Saginaw Bay. Oh, that was a monster fish. And the Ned Rig doing its job. Thank you, Z-Man.
Back in 95, I dressed up like a Power Ranger. Why?